Hi, I'm Bill Nemitz, and we're here today with City Councilor Ed Suslovic, Chairman of the Public Safety, Health, and Human Services Committee. It's a mouthful. Fresh back from a meeting last night at which you, uh, let me get this straight, you're not cracking down on panhandlers. That would be sort correct. Of. What are you doing? What we're doing, uh, what we're proposing to do, pending full City Council approval, would be to ban loitering on the median strips uh, in the City of Portland. Similar to crosswalks. You can't loiter in a crosswalk safely, mm -hmm. so we don't allow it. Uh, this proposal would simply say median strips are the same as crosswalks. You can use them to safely cross the street, but you can't loiter in them. Now, of course, this is in response to a growing problem. This was attempted last summer, correct? Last fall. Yep. Last fall, and it, uh, it didn't fly. Correct. Uh, now it's back. Why? Why is it? Why so soon? What's happened? Well, as, as the police chief pointed out last night uh, in his uh, briefing of the committee, uh, there's been a basically a 25 percent increase in complaints about safety issues um, on median strips around the city since last fall. Um, he went through a, a, a log of uh, complaints that uh, was record, were recorded by the public safety dispatchers, everything from uh, individuals who appeared to be intoxicated, stumbling into traffic, people running out into traffic in front of moving cars. Um, and so he brought it back to us uh, as a, uh, a public safety issue. As That's his job. His job <laughs> as, as police chief is to keep us all safe. Well, and he did his job Including last the panhandlers. Including panhandlers. everyone. Right, right. Right. Now, let me get this straight. You're going to move them off the median strip, but you're not going to tell them that they can't panhandle. Right. Pa pa panhandling is a protected form of free speech right. uh, that's been affirmed by the Supreme Court. Right. So for folks that say, why don't you just ban panhandling, that's why. The Supreme Court it. would say, no, you can't do that. So they're going to move from the median strip, I would assume, over to the corner, right? Well, we don't, we don't know that. Uh, what I, uh, one thing that I learned by uh, another uh, media outlet in, in, in the city did an undercover story last year on this issue, and one of their reporters uh, said uh, in the story that he uh, made $15 an hour uh, on the median strip uh, at Franklin or Marginal Way, he made $3 an hour standing on the sidewalk on Commercial Street. So clearly, uh, the median strips, uh, when, when my assumption is that the reason we've been flooded with folks hanging out on our median strips is because that's where they can... Well, it's easy money. access, right. too. Right. And right. a captive yeah. audience, yeah. Yeah. yep. Yeah, you have the uh, driver's side. You're not right. reaching into someone's car, that kind Although of thing. Although that has been occurring as yeah. well. So, Where are you at on panhandling in general? I mean, you know, I, I walk down Congress Street. I talk to a lot of business owners who say this is a blight. This is bad for the city. We don't want our gateways clogged with all these folks with signs. Where, where do you stand on that? On the larger issue of yeah. panhandling? Yeah. So off the median strips? There you go. Okay. Um, Clearly, there's a lot of folks um, that need help in our community and have for many years. Uh, we have folks with mental illness. We have folks with substance abuse. We have folks so-called dual diagnosis with both. Um, at any given point in time, somewhere around 12% of the folks staying in our homeless shelter are veterans, uh, who many of whom are suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome and, and other issues. So there are folks that need help. Um, panhandling is one way that some folks choose to, to try to get help. Um, from my experience as chairing the, the Public Safety, Health, and Human Services Committee, emphasis on the human services part now, mm -hmm. um, I, I think that uh, panhandling is not the most effective way for folks to get help. So I would point out that uh, there are many services available throughout the city of Portland, not just by the city, but by other nonprofits. Um, there are teams of outreach workers that fan out across the city trying mm -hmm. to engage folks. I suspect we'll, we'll, we'll see more of that this summer. Um, to try to connect folks that legitimately need help with the help that is available. So my view is that if, if someone is panhandling, that's in, in, not the best way to access And help. simultaneous with this is an effort by the business community to establish this so-called Have a Heart program where you'll donate to those services and at the same time, this is the part I don't get, Ed, where you, where you actually give the panhandlers a card in effect saying, I gave it the office. Uh, do you think this is going to work, or do you think that's going to discourage these people from being out there? Well, I, 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 I think it might. Um, uh, w one thing I've learned as long as I've been around the council and the legislature is that there's no such thing as a silver bullet. There's no one thing that solves any problem. Um, I think it's a combination of what we did last night, and hopefully the, the council will, will concur in, on, in July in terms of, of 
keeping people off the median strips for their own and motorist safety. I think what the Portland Downtown District and the Chamber are doing about the, the public education campaign about if you want to help and we want people to help, the most responsible way to help is in fact to make a contribution to agencies that provide mental health treatment, mm -hmm. substance abuse treatment, uh, uh, food, etc., shelter. Um, uh, and, I, and I think that if we do that, uh, the combination of those things, and along with improved outreach uh, in terms of folks that, that need help connecting them with services, I think that we, we, we very well might see, notice I mm -hmm. might, might see, might. Um, yeah. a reduction in the, in the number of people that feel they need to panhandle. There's always going to be some folks standing uh, with a sign saying, mm -hmm you know help you know, help right. um, some of those folks legitimately need help some may not um, and so I, I, I think that the idea of educating the public that you know if you want to help there may be a more effective way to help than simply giving p everyone you see on the street some money it's gonna be a long hot summer uh, but not not judging by the weather <laughs> we've had this week Bill.